going on YouTube checking in with y'all today currently out here in Williamsburg Virginia picking up a beer load out of Anheuser-Busch beer loads are notoriously heavy matter of fact the one we got right now is just under 45,000 pounds so I'm gonna show y'all um, a trick of the trade that I was taught several years ago as a young buck by some of the by in particular one of the old head drivers at uh, the local company I was with um, pretty simple you know, it uh, works nine times out of ten. It works every time. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm Ferrari with the Spider Top. Frozen Fiji bottles in my watch. I stay on the clock, I'm always on the clock. Soon as I open my eyes, I'm at my fucking job. 9 11. These are the ratchet low locks that. You have to buy from Prime, you don't have a choice. But these are pretty good, they're stronger than those, but those are easy to use. So I use this one up top because if the load is gonna fall, it's gonna fall from the top, it's not gonna fall from the bottom. So they call this a ratchet, a ratchet load lock. Break it. Beer, loaded beer. This is very similar to the sodas I used to haul. If these things are going to fall, it's going to fall from the top back. So you want your strongest load lock up top. This is just a reinforcement. This is a little raggedy one I picked up off of a trailer. But this one here just reinforcing. So, so much simpler to use. All you do is stretch it out, pull the lever back. That's it. Most of the time, the beer loads, they require you to have two load locks on before you leave. All right, so since we can see the pallets, the rule of thumb that I was taught from some of the old heads when I was driving local was you want the tandems, the trailer tandems to be up underneath or as close as possible to the last pallets loaded in the trailer. When you do that, you pretty much almost guarantee you're gonna be legal as far as your weight going. So when I can get on the trailer, I'll just simply count the steps from the last pallet to the end of the trailer. So that's two, three, four, heel to toe, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like eleven and a half steps. So we did 11 and a half steps from the last pallet inside the trailer to the back of the trailer. So from the rear of the trailer on the outside, I'm gonna count the same 11 and a half steps to figure out which hole we need the uh, tandems to be at so they're underneath that last pallet. So, let's see. Two, three, four, five, here this hole right here is where we want the mud flap to be that will put the tandems right underneath the last pallet so the last pile on the trailer is right here and if we're able to which we will we'll be able to get it there once you're able to get that tandem underneath those last pallets that almost guarantees your weight is going to be good i have it hasn't failed me yet so whenever i get a beer load this is what i do when I go across the scale to scale out, I'm usually perfect every time. So we're gonna slide them up to this. So I need the mud flap to be at this hole right here. So this, let's something to mark it. This tape. All right. So I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull forward. I'm gonna back up. When the mud flap gets to this tape, you go. You stop me. All right. able to get exactly where you want it to be at. This is as far forward as the tandem will go. So 
Either way, we should be good. We're real close. We should be good. And here we are on the scale. So y'all can see. We are definitely legal. We got 32,000 on the on the drives and 33,700 on the trailer. So that little method I was taught, it, it works. Um, whenever I'm able to get on the trailer and you know see the pilots count, you know, use my steps to count how far the pilots are away from the um, the rear of the trailer, so that I can get my tandems underneath the pilot. Because what you want is if possible, you want the mud flap to be at the same point as the very um, last pallet, as the uh, where I began my steps at. That's what you want. Um, this we weren't able to get it that far underneath, so we got it as far as we could. And um, the right way was reading a little heavy, so I actually ended up sliding the tandems uh, two holes backwards. But more or less, more or less, that that little uh, trick of the trade works. It's worked for me on several occasions, so nine out of ten times, it works every time. I stay on the clock, I'm always on the clock. As soon as I open my eyes, I'm